dust blew straight across the Texas scrubland, and at twilight it created a translucent curtain that made the town of Arnett seem like a sepia ghost image. Bill Hapscomb's Texco sign had blown down and lay in the middle of the road. Someone had left the gas on in Norm Gruitt's house, and the day before, a spark from the air conditioner had blown the whole place sky high, rattling lumber and shingles and Fisher-Price toys all over Laurel Street. On Main Street, dogs and soldiers lay dead together in the gutter. In Randy's superette, a man in PJs lay draped over the meat counter, his arm hanging down. One of the dogs now lying in the gutter had been at the man's face before losing its appetite. Cats did not catch the flu, and dozens of them wove in and out of the twilight stillness like smoky shades. From several houses, the sound of television snow ran on and on. A random shutter banged back and forth. A red wagon, old and faded and rusty, the words Speedway Express barely legible on its sides, stood in the middle of Jurgen Street, in front of the Indian Head Tavern. There were a number of returnable beer and soda bottles in the wagon. On Logan Lane, in Arnett's best neighborhood, wind chimes played on the porch of Tony Leominster's house. Tony's scout stood in the driveway, its windows open. A family of squirrels had nested in the back seat. The sun deserted Arnett, the town grew dark under the wing of the night. The town was, except for the churr and whisper of small animals, and the tinkle of Tony Leominster's wind chimes, silent. And silent. And silent. Thank you so much for attending part two of my reading vlog of Stephen King's The Stand. This is to be my final part of my reading vlog series of The Stand. This was published in 1978 re-released in an uncut format in 1990 and driving me a little batty here at the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022 and so I'm just going to focus on finishing this book not getting bogged down and putting together some sort of clever reading vlog and then I'll finish this book I'll let you know how it goes and I'll talk to you then hopefully I can get it done before the end of spring of 2022 but who knows? In the meantime, have a great one. Hope you're having a good new year so far. Thank you very much.